So last up we finished, we tried out some seats. Seats weren't really gonna work out and this cab is in pretty good shape. I don't wanna go chopping up the floor and uh, I don't know, I just, I'm not the kind of guy that takes a perfectly good floor and modifies it. Unless I'm trying to fit some kind of engine or something or trans in here. Um, but just for some simple seats, I'm not gonna do it. I decided just to take my, um, take my bench seat and just take it up to the upholstery. So I, I found a guy, awesome, awesome work. So uh, everything is like super professional. So I took it to him, just said, I want black vinyl. Do you know, make it to a 70. He's like, what kind of truck is it in? I told him it's a 79. He's like, I'm gonna look it up. I'll make it look cool. So um, he did my seats for the K5 and uh, they just, they came out cherry. So it was all good. <clears throat> so cabin here is looking pretty good. It's got this black stuff from that, I don't know, cheap probably cheap just sound deadener whatnot insulation and it probably worked um, i'm thankful that it was pretty easy to get off um, had to pull hard on it um, but it didn't like come apart in like a gazillion pieces and i'm happy about that i'm not actually sure i'm gonna even clean it up i mean it would just yeah, i think it would just freaking be i don't know i guess i could put some degreaser on it and clean it but i don't know i'll give it a half-ass attempt and if it looks okay or if it comes off easy, I'll do it. If not, I'll just leave it because I'm just going to cover it with... I mean, really, it's not hurting anything. Um, it's another layer of rust protection. And... <laughs> right? And yeah, I'm going to be covering it up with um, Reflectix insulation anyway. So it's not going to really be an issue. Maybe it'll help it bond a little bit better. Um, Alright, so the main issue is over here. We got this hole in the floor. And you can see it's... I'm going to have to cut a little bit out so that I can put my patch panel. I had bought a piece of sheet metal up at Lowe's that I was going to use for my fender wells. I was going to cut some sections out and try my hand at fixing it. But we got this here, and now that it's daylight, we can peel some of this stuff up. Sorry about the camera. I'm bumping you all over. Yeah, it's like it got fused to the underside of the carpet here. Yeah, so anyways, let me get you back a little bit and let's clean this stuff up and see what we get into and uh, figure on a plan of fixing the floor here. Yeah, how's that, how's that sound? Alright guys, also before we get too into this, I really do appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the views and uh, please give this video a thumbs up if uh, you like what you're seeing here and uh, it really helps me out. So uh, let's get into it and see where we end up. Alright guys, so as far as rust repair goes, I really never actually had to deal with it, so <laughs> I've, uh, I've read plenty of build threads though, and uh, yeah, I'm a, I'd have a hard time I think if like the first three pages of my build thread were rust repair, but I, I think my plan of action here, let me show you what I got, got this piece of uh, 16 gauge sheet metal. I think it'll be okay. All right, guys, getting back at it a little bit here tonight. Well, about 5:36 ish, somewhere around there. And we got this painted. It says give it 24 hours to to dry. I think with you know I'm, I'm gonna do that just to make sure everything's cool. And then uh, tomorrow, I don't might not wait 24 hours, but I'll probably tomorrow just come out and run a bead down here and around and call it good. 
I think tonight what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this cluster out of the way and get it in the garage and spend a little time uh, just kind of refurbishing it, make it look better. All right, guys, wrapping up for the night. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap the video up here too. But uh, anyways, yeah. So got some interior stuff done. Fixed our uh, little rust hole. Just gotta seal it up. What else did we get done? Oh, I pulled out the cluster. Well, actually, I had painted over the the patch. Got the cluster out. That way I can work on it in the garage. And then decided I would come out here and. At least put the front face on because my neighbors, you know, they, they can see through my gate. So they've probably been like, look at that POS on jack stands over there. And uh, so I <laughs> figured I'd oblige them and at least put the front on. And then that way I can kick back and see if I wanted to do anything else with the grill. It looks pretty good. I ordered these actions off of LMC. Let's see, 30-0815. Anyways, I ordered 10 of them. I don't even know if I used them for the K10. But anyways, I ordered them, and then they actually fit in the little slots there. I think you can get these up at, like, the auto parts store, too. I know CarQuest had some of them, and I think maybe they have them in the little help section. But, yeah, so I love the front end of these trucks, um, you know, even better than, like the, like, the 80s. This is pretty mean, and I do have a nice bumper for it that i got to put back on. I'm um, still trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Uh, here I got to do a cross member and stuff, so I don't want to put any of that on until my cross member's done and I do my brake line. But that's it. So uh, you guys have a good evening and uh, have a good weekend. And I think I might get out here. I don't know if I'll get out here tomorrow. I don't know if I got much. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get out here tomorrow and seal that up. All right. So I got this stuff in my cock gun. It's uh, this Dynatron seam sealer. It's some 3M stuff. Anyways, I got it up at AutoZone. I anyway, can get in the camera here, but you can see I got went all along there and around. It said to feather the edges with the uh, like a putty knife or something, but it didn't work. Like this stuff cures so fast. I don't know if it's because it's just it's just hot. I mean, it's not the metal's not super duper hot, but it's warm. So I tried a little over here, and I'm like, screw it. You know what I mean? Like if the bead sticks out a little bit, it ain't gonna bother me as long as it seals. I don't really care. Um, yeah, because it's gonna be covered with insulation and everything anyway so that's it uh hopefully that rust repair is going to be good i'm not really going to paint over it or nothing i'm just gonna <clears throat> excuse me i'm just gonna cover it up with insulation and carpet and hope it holds up for a while so uh that is all all right guys i think this dang wind's gonna get me but anyhow figured i'd uh just do a quick walk around to the front of the truck so yeah, she's looking pretty good. I love these front ends on these uh, 70s trucks. Yeah. I think that's all right. I think it's going to look mean rolling down the street. But that is all. I appreciate you guys. appreciate you rolling with me. You guys take care. And till the next video.